The next one from Carlos Mar Mar Marin on Twitter said, when will the Mets take care of McNeil and Alonzo before they get to free agency? Uh, Pete Alonzo, by the way, turned 28 years old today. So happy birthday, Pete Alonzo. And he is not a free agent till 2025. He's in his arbitration years. But Joe, I start with Alonzo before we get to McNeil, although maybe they're both free agents 2025. Alonzo, who's 28, McNeil, who turns 31 in April, I would be floored if they let it get to that point with Pete. And I think it's bad business, not bad business, but dangerous business if you do, because maybe there's a world right now where as Pete turned 28 today, say you do the contract next year, you sign him when he's in, he just turned 29 and the contract runs till he's 37. You don't want to play the game of, signing a 30, 31 year old Pete Alonso to a nine, 10 year deal that's he's in his forties. So I actually think there's a business side of it that makes a lot of sense for the Mets. And of course the player side of it is they get taken care of and they get that security early. So I would say in spring training, maybe you could start to have those conversations uh, at this point in the off season, we're outlining how many things the Mets still have left to sure. do. Yeah. At the end of the day, Pete Alonso and Jeff McNeil are under contract to the Mets for the next couple seasons. So it's not a requirement that they get it done. It would be nice if they uh, pursued, I'd say more so with Pete than McNeil for the long-term deal. Uh, but at this point, it's more important to build the team around them for 2023. That that takes priority over the extension. But when you get to spring training, start having the conversations with the agents, see where they're at, see what they're yep. looking for. Some guys don't um, want to do this, by the yeah. way. Yeah, not everybody's like, the Braves. They could want to ride it out to free agency because – they're in arbitration. They're a couple of years away at this point. You know, maybe they do want to ride to free agency, even if they end up staying with the Mets. So I'd begin the conversations, but let's fill out the baseball team first. Exactly. And also it doesn't affect this year's luxury tax payroll. These are deals that the arbitrations bought out and then you're going into deeper years beyond that. McNeil is a guy that I think they would, if they did it, they would approach it in a sense of you're not going to hit free agency till you're, 33, I believe you have some injuries in the past. Let's give you a contract that pays you through 35 years old. If he's not interested in that, then McNeil genuinely might be a player that goes right down to the free agency wire in 2025.